decided to hit on a decoy, an adult posing as a 15-year-old. Let me hit a dreamers, yo. Recording videos on like Black Ops 2, COD 4, and I haven't really been playing Black Ops 3. So if you want me to play other games besides Black Ops 2, COD 4, let me know. It will most likely have to be a Call of Duty because I don't play anything else. Just saying. So if you have any suggestions on which COD game you'd like to see, drop them below. I had just recorded this video completely, was gonna take it into Sony Vegas, edit it, and my webcam file fucking corrupted so I don't know if my computer's just shit in the bed there was a huge power outage last night so I'm not sure if that's what's causing my computer and whatnot to be a fucking dickhead but hopefully it fixes itself because I'm not feeling it like I had a good gameplay I had it was solid video but no life just doesn't work for me sometimes and I gotta do shit over again use code Ally for 5% off of your G Fuel products I'm just fucking with you I don't have a code <laughs> If you didn't know, my giveaway for 40,000 subscribers ended this morning? Last night? This morning? Well, it ended and I picked the winner. It's on Twitter if you want to go check it out. The link to that tweet will be in the description. So, But if you didn't win, guys, try not to be upset about it. There will always be other giveaways. I know a lot of people were kind of depending on it. Like, I can make videos if I have a microphone, which is kind of upsetting to see because like, I can't give away a lot of microphones as much as I'd want to. If I could give everybody a piece of equipment that they needed to start making videos, trust me, I would. But the funds in my bank account would not enjoy me very much if I decided to do that. But don't worry guys, if you didn't win, there's always the next giveaway, which will probably be at 50,000 subscribers, as that's my New Year's resolution goal. But as you all probably know, there has been an incident at a zoo someplace in the world, and what happened was a kid actually fell into the gorilla enclosure. If you live under a rock, you probably would not have known that, but it's something that has actually happened. There is two standpoints that I've seen currently from the majority of the people talking about the subject, and those two standpoints are, one, the mother didn't watch her child good enough because it fell into an enclosure at a zoo, and then there's the opinion of, you know, maybe the gorilla shouldn't have been shot to death, and... There's really no win-win situation here. Yeah, I may not be a parent, but I can see this from both sides of the spectrum. For one, being a parent, you cannot watch your child 100% of the time, no matter how hard you try, unless you have them fucking leashed and attached to your hip. And as some parents, that's just not, it's not how it goes. At the same time, in the end, should your kid have not been watched to the point where they fell into an enclosure? No, no, probably not. Who knows what the wild animal was going to do? <laughs> but I can also see it from everyone else's perspective where it's, you know, the gorilla shouldn't have been shot, it was taking care of the child. Well, it's a wild animal. You have no idea. It may be in a zoo and it might be trained to a certain extent, but it's still a wild animal. It's supposed to be in the wild. Who knows what it's gonna do, dude? You honestly have no idea what it's going to do until it does it, and if that gorilla were to kill a child, it probably would be put down anyway. But at the same time, if maybe they tranquilized it, that maybe made a difference. I just, I don't know what kind of went into the decision making at this point. I only really know what has happened from the headlines, to be honest. I didn't really read any articles or watch any videos. And most of the comments are like, the mother's a dumbass, doesn't know how to watch her kid. And then the other side of the comments is, well, maybe the gorilla was trying to take care of the kid. And it's just... It's just best if you stay neutral on the topic at the moment. That's what I'm gonna do at least. The only opinion that I would have on the subject is maybe they could have tranquilized the gorilla instead of ending its fucking life. But I'm one person out of millions that have an opinion on the subject, so it really doesn't mean anything that I actually said that, so. But if you guys have an opinion on the story, you should definitely drop it in the comments. I wanna see where you guys stand on the subject because it's been a quite popular subject on social media recently. A lot of jokes kind of surfacing recently about the whole subject. I can admit that I personally think some of them are funny, but at the same time, it's really not that a zoo animal that was captured, you know, put into a cage to be looked at all day, lost its life due to human error. Like, that's just, it's not funny, that's not funny, but fucking humans fucking shit up all the time. There's also another thing that I want to talk about in today's video. Like always, I was kind of scrubbing through Facebook and I found this post from a guy in, that lives in Edmonton. 
pretty much what he does is he pretends he's a little girl or a little boy online on the internet and he finds sexual predators and just people like that kind of like that one tv series that was a thing i don't know if it still is to be honest but dateline on nbc or something something along those lines you you obviously know what i'm talking about if you don't i'll put like a little piece of the tv show here a dateline net crime to catch a predator years now since we first began our series of reports investigating online sex predators but his journey didn't begin today it began more than a week earlier when he entered a yahoo georgia chat room and decided to hit on a decoy an adult posing as a 15 year old you'd never guess by the way this man confidently walks into our house that he's seen datelines investigations into internet sex predators before and he's still willing to risk being exposed on national television you had a hard time finding the place, or yeah, man. <laughs> got lost, huh? So what this post was, what <laughs> this Edmontonian guy basically created a YouTube series or a series of videos that he makes calling creep catchers. He literally has a YouTube channel with videos where after he's pretended to be a little girl, he meets up with these people like that TV series, and he like corners them and makes them feel really weird. I mean, if you're trying to get with a 14 year old, you kind of deserve to feel weird after that because that's just not cool. I'm gonna link his channel in the description and I want you guys to go watch the videos because this is real life scenarios, people trying to get at little girls and little boys and it's just straight up creepy. So if you guys could, you should definitely go watch the videos. I find them funny because people like this just can't grasp that, you know, when you're 20 something, you should not be trying to get with a 14 year old. Like they just don't grasp something about that. If they were older, both in their 20s and whatnot and higher, no one would say anything about it because they're of the age, they can make decisions for themselves more better, I guess, than when you're 14. Because I know when you're a young teenager, you kind of just make decisions at the moment that you feel are right. I'm not saying that 14 year old and whatnot can't think for themselves and they don't know what they're doing. Like they, they completely know, but at the same time, they're young, they're stupid, adults know better. I'm gonna put it at that. I just find what this guy's doing though with this video series really awesome because it's around where I live again, and he's just catching the people that just can't grasp what's right and wrong. I do believe this guy's YouTube series needs a lot more recognition for what it really is because it is crazy how many people they've caught and whatnot doing this. Because in 2016, you'd think this wouldn't be as bad because of how the internet is and you just really can't trust anyone to begin with. But you know, there's still some pretty fucky people out there. So if you wouldn't mind, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you would go check out the guy's YouTube channel and, you know, maybe comment in the comment section, Ali sent you or something, because I honestly think his videos need a lot more recognition because of what he's doing. Like, it's not nothing stupid. It's for the good, and he's potentially saving people from being, like, harmed from these people. Hopefully you did enjoy the video nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you want, go check out the channel and the giveaway tweet in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Let me hit a dreamers, y'all. Let me hit a dreamers, y'all.